pretty Hello cool. everybody, welcome to the first round of Chalice Season 50. We've got Elyod versus Albichon live. In the booth with me is Kalon. Hello. Hello. And what a fantastic surprise it is uh, that having just finished... Uh, hello, YouTube. Ooh. Having just Ooh. finished doing the um, uh, run-through of the first round draw and joined by our good friend uh, Elliot, and he got played out. So we are able to bring you this game directly after that. So... Uh, if you want to know more about the teams, anybody on YouTube, go and have a look at uh, the most recently up uploaded video, which will give you a full description of everything. But uh, yeah, here we go, Jim. What do you think? I am think this was a terrible decision by Albachon to keep this guy as an extra line back. Because doing that, let him let Elliot come in with a rookie chaff, right? Yes. To give that assist, which now now protects his claw pommer a bit. Otherwise, you'd have had to put the guard in there and then yes. hit with him, and then this guy would be exposed because of this guy. So, um, real bad decision, I think, to go three back instead of two back. Um, yeah. Looking at the teams, I would say Elliot has the better team. He's got the two claw pommers that really equalizes the you know the strength dis deficit that he has. But I mean, it's yes. still a nice team, isn't it, for uh, Albichon? Like it is. Yeah, a nice it's a team, cool. But... It, it is a cool little orc team. It's really really fun. It's got pretty much everything you want on it overall. But um, yeah, you would think that Elliot's probably the overall favorite, um, especially with having uh, picked up the ball on uh, on the kickoff, which is also always a nice start. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's cast. He's cast a black orc and he's KO'd the yep. troll, so he's almost certainly yep. won this drive. And now it's just going to be, he's going to just try and maximise his claw palm hits for the rest of the drive, basically. That's all, much, pretty much all that's going to happen for the rest of the drive is just... Exactly that, yeah. Is how much, how much pain does Albichon take here? <laughs> yeah, cool. So, um, yeah, it's going to be it's going to be a really fun game. Uh, it's been... Uh, a long old season for Elliot trying to get this team through. Um, the Chorfs just kept on dying on him. Um, kept on dying, kept on dying. And so much so that he's got two rookie Chorfs, which is pretty shit. Um, mm. The rest of the team is fine. The Bulls are lovely. He did have a Strength 5 Blodger, uh, Blodge Bull, very early on. Uh, strength mm. 5 Blodge, uh, break tackle. But um, he died on a GFI as well, uh, which is pretty funny. Um, not for Elliot, obviously, but uh, as a spectator, I can guarantee that I thought it was very, very funny. Um, and, uh, yep, yeah, so uh, it took him a while to get it together, um, but it's a nice team now. Mm. Oh, wow, look at that. It, it is it is a trade, but, I mean, it's another guard off the pitch. Apo in immediately. Apo fails. Yeah, this is... You know, it's Who's not over. Bribe? <laughs> if you switch over to Elliot now, I can guarantee he's saying it's not over. <laughs> but it's pretty much over. Somebody might have said it's over in chat and has since been banned. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. But yeah, that was uh, that's that's pretty massive. Yep. It's like it's almost the game over. Like it is the half over and it's almost the game over. Because like Elliot's good, right? He's not gonna he's not gonna he is. He's not gonna yeah. fuck it up. He's not gonna no. give yeah, not gonna, his, his foot is not coming off your throat for the rest of this game. Mm. Dauntless fail. Um, and he was reliant on the Dauntless as well. Into a one, into he had a both players. guns. Yeah, like, he come did, on, yeah. you've got players. Just don't be yeah. a dickhead. <laughs> no offence. No offence to Albachon, but like you can just put a player here. Yeah. Guarantee the 2D. You know, it's not like he was knocking him into another hit or anything either. He, he was, was actually... knocking him into this. He was he was knocking him into this black hole. Oh, but, was he? Was he there? Look, okay. But look, the, this guy's yeah. here. He could have been here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, this guy's in here now. Like, there's just yeah. He could have put him in there first and then made the hit with two D. Like this guy's come in here anyway. So yeah, that was that was real bad. So um, you know, uh, might be a bit kind of shaken. Uh, that was a pretty, oh, pretty horrendous uh, opening barrage from the Chorfs. Uh, we didn't ask about um, inducements. Um, were there any? Uh, I saw Elliot had a bribe. Was that from kickoff or no? Because Albichon doesn't have one. So that right. was well, that uh, was the Elliot was down TV. Unbelievably. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Cool. Mm. Yeah, he's going to be pretty happy with this so far. Yes. Yes. Even even though it's you know it isn't over obviously, but no, of course not. He's yeah. such a huge favorite now, Elliot. Yeah, you he know, really so is. there's got to be uncharacteristic, uncharacteristically bad play from Elliot, or <laughs> there's got to be unbelievable dice turnaround 
Yeah. Um, Both of which can happen. Uh, I mean, well, not maybe not the uncharacteristic uh, mistakes from Elliot, but um, I mean, they definitely the, can happen. The dice, <laughs> yes, the dice, uh, the dice can have a can have a play. Mm. Juggernaut says, "Get Rex, stand firm." Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Just a stun. Of course, he could have just kept him in there to have a guard assist, so he could have hit the uh, Mr. Yeah. Thor, but he thought, fuck that, pile on is better, because yeah. it is. <laughs> it, like, is. it just yeah, is. It just, on, yeah. All these people that like to say about, like, oh, yes, I play a positional game and all that, ultimately, <laughs> the, the stats don't lie, you know? And, no, and piling on is, is pretty broken. It, it, it's pretty it's pretty broken, probably so much so that they should remove it from the game. Oh, wait, they did that. <laughs> They did yes. that, yeah. It's almost as if they finally realized that it was just too OP. Yeah. Can you choose to not have Jugs push a stand firm? I don't know. No. I don't know this option. No, you yeah. can't. There you go. It, the skill description of how it works is that you cannot use stand firm against it. You no. cannot use wrestle against it. All right. There you and go. It, in addition to that, you can treat a both down result as if it was a push. Yeah. So the first two part, the first part of that is not optional. Yeah. The second part is. Correct. Oh, that, that makes sense. Yep. Here we go. We've got a guardian, so he gets the two D on the yep. big boy. Gets him. The Lovely. Big boy. Mm -hmm. I hope they also rookie. nerf passing and shadowing. Yep, that's a great point, <laughs> Uber fell. It's almost like they just threw threw darts at the board, and what they happened to. Me. Nerf happened yeah. to align with what people had hated. Well, no, they had like they they went to the guys and went, "What could we actually fix?" And they went these things, and they had those as the top two notes, and then they and then they had a brainstorm, and then they you know were finished their brainstorm. Let's cut shadowing. Let's do this to make a passing stat. And then when they were cleaning up the bits of paper at the end, they 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 had the first piece of paper was on the bottom. And that managed to get through as well. So we got the, <laughs> the Claw Mighty Blow Not Stacking nerf, and uh, and, uh, and we got the Pining On removed, but the rest of it was all just made up shit by a committee. Yeah, it's funny because I think the Claw didn't need it to be nerfed. And maybe yeah, it I... shouldn't have been nerfed, actually. Oh, for fuck's sake! What? Wow. Like, everyone's a critic, man. I swear to God. That guy wow. must work for GW, just immediately removes me. <laughs> and here we go, he gets the big hit. Doesn't do anything with it. Oh, no. I don't hate it. I don't mm. hate it. He's really behind here. Um, but yeah. This guy's got Pom, so I, I hate it a bit. I think oh, it, it yes. was worth GFIing to hit with Pom. Like, as, as yes, stupid yes, as that yes. sounds. No, sorry, I was only half paying attention. I presume that was the Palmer that he was hitting. No, it's the other guy. It's... Yep. <clears throat> this is just... Yeah. You've yeah. got to get really lucky now, haven't you? So, mm -hmm. Because you have to get so lucky, you've got to give yourself the chance to get really lucky. Mm -hmm. And you do that by GFIing. <laughs> to hit. Yep. Yeah, run away from the chove is a good idea. Try and oh, this Mr. Throw is move up, move down, isn't he? Uh, oh, is he? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good, lads. No, you're not. No, no, no you're not. <laughs> Uh, yeah, shame to have lost that uh, chorf. I mean, obviously, it's, if you're going to lose a chorf, that's the right one to lose because he's a shitter with bad opinions on things. But <laughs> um, he does want to get the levels on those guys. Mm. And I think with how nice that opening couple of turns went, he might have had it in the back of his mind. He wouldn't say it, but he'd have it in the back of his mind that uh, this could be a good time to a good game for leveling those boys. I yes. mean, there's still plenty of stuff to go, but. He's got some guys he really needs to get some. It's to. it's not over, but he's really he really wants to score on Twisted Candy. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so probably just... and he is stretched a bit here. This isn't great. He really needs yeah. to push on this hit so that he can get him up and back and him back and around. Yeah. I'm curious whether he'll go for the hits on Mister Throw and probably take a foul as well. No, I'd, I'd, he's gonna. He's gonna. This is a consolidating turn. He's got. To, uh, is, yeah. He's got to yeah. just keep the ball safe because he, he's managed to get himself disconnected in a bit. Uh, mm -hmm. In a bit of a spot of bother. Yeah, fair enough. In a bit of a pickle, as Elliot would say. He would. Oh, 
And this is where the don't say it's over attitude comes in rather good, doesn't it? Because But this is a yes. huge 2D. He has to get the push here, basically. Yes. Um, this is where the attitude... You know, like, that's the thing. You know, I'd say it was over. But the reason I say it was over is because I know that Elliot's going to do the right thing on this turn. And I know he's yeah. just going to consolidate and not leave him in, right? That's the thing. I, I know that, which is why I'm saying it's over. But if, um, if he was a less experienced or just less good Blood Bowl player then maybe yeah. he would have thought, oh, I've won this, and then taken it easy, and then uh, mm -hmm. you know left the ball exposed this turn, but he's done exactly the right thing, as I knew he would. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, I mean, he's 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 a superb coach, and uh, I really enjoy watching him play. A well, greedy banger, though, isn't he? <laughs> oh, fuck me, like, well, you know, gets the full removal here. Yep. Oh. Wow. I thought he'd go for it, but no. I mean, it's, it's done its job, right? It's a 4 plus to come back. <laughs> You're like, why didn't he pile on? <laughs> yeah. Pile on the KO, do it. Just fucking do it. Like, yeah. So now he can hit. He can hit. He can't really hit both. Oh. You see, you have to hit him with your pommer. It's the yeah. literal only skill in the game. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, he might get lucky. He probably thinks he got lucky with the last hit because um, it was just a standard mighty blow hit that took out the other guy. The tackle on this. Man, these bulls are so good. I can't Sorry, remember yeah. a time when Greed was punched. Certainly not in the in the semi-final of CCL. Nope. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I don't know what anybody's talking about. Oh, you'll take a little bit of time to think this turn. I think this so. This is a bit of a tricky turn. Hmm. He's got to work out his priorities, who he's scoring on, how much to take care of the ball, and who to blitz with. Most importantly, who to fucking claw palm on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a little tricky. Yeah. I mean, only a little. It's it's more like it's more like you know choosing, choosing whether to drive your Ferrari or your Lamborghini. You know, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> these, are, these are tough questions. <laughs> there's, there's worse dilemmas to have. <laughs> there, there are. There are. To be fair. <laughs> I don't know, Garion. I don't know because he's lost the drive, hasn't he? He's down four players. He has lost this drive. His only play for the rest of the half is to is to try and make some nice removals to help him in the second half and yep. overtime potentially. Like th this drive is done. It's just done. You know, Elliot is not going to let it slip. Probably, probably not. No. Probably. Mm -hmm. not. And obviously, anyone can brain fart. Yeah. You know, like anyone can make mistakes. Um, but. He's almost certainly not going to make a horrendous mistake, which it would have to be at this stage. <laughs> I really like that turn. That's really, really solid. And leaving the guy on the ground as well is, um, yeah. There is a bull, he's, 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 a hittable bull. There is. Can we lie on Dauntless again? Jesus. Fails, fails again. again. Pushes. And you get brilliant. the push. She has to take. Oh my god. This this looks to be a big mistake from the player now from Albuquerque. <laughs> I've got to say it. <laughs> I was kind of willing to let the first one go, but that was... Um, yeah, that's that's the second time he's done it now. And that's, uh, that's not good enough. Is he fouling with a Black Orc? Sure looks like it. It, it does look like it, yeah. Maybe he needs to be that much up, but um, I mean, this is why I like this play as well, because if he does do this, he was going to have to use the positional, and he's as likely to get himself as removed as, as removed max power. Like, I, 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 I kind of... This, this was the funny thing, because I wouldn't have minded trying to protect this guy, you know, blitz with him and get him up and try and protect him last turn. Mm -hmm. um, because at the end of the day, yes, him having to foul with a Black Hawk... It's like the odds are against him, but also it is a way for him to win, isn't it? You know, if he if he fouls him and kills him, 
then for uh, sure it's a way you can not win so it's it's an interesting thing the odds are against him but he's he's got the right chance so it's it's not the it's, right chance he's got a chance i think it's a, i think it's a really fascinating area of uh, of discussion as well though which is i think great um we saw so Elliot is very much of the opinion that I, I know cause from watching him play, he would be delighted to see that that was happening. He would be absolutely delighted to see that his guy is getting um, uh, fouled because he thinks that's very likely to get resulted in a removal. And yet a uh, couple of um, game or last season, uh, we saw Andy Davo dodge with his best wolf, who is the only tackle on his team, to come all the way back and do a uh, one assist foul on a... Um, on a blood step tackle uh, high off blitzer and yes. uh, killed him. Yeah. Um, and one of those is very much a play style and the other one is also very much a play style. And um, I think it's I think it's fascinating. It's one of the great things about stream, uh, about watching streamers is watching both sides of that uh, argument. Mm. Uh, looks like he's going to change up to go for this pylon guy. Yeah. yeah. Is he going to? Yeah. He's going to go for another. Another foul on this lad. Probably with the same black orc by the look of it. Because yeah, the other guy can't the other guy can't make it. Ooh. Yeah. I, I tell you, Eliad's gonna be delighted with this fouling. Because he's as likely to remove himself. Yeah, but also not really. Like he's not yeah. <laughs> he's like do you know what I mean? he is and he isn't, right? Like in a way, okay, they're not trying to stop him scoring it, but Mm -hmm. He was going to score even if they had tried, you know, so like, sure. I think he's wrong to be delighted because this is yeah. how <laughs> okay. he can okay. hire, he can harm your chances of winning the tournament later and he can get himself back into the match, you know, potentially as well. So yeah. it's still, it's still really not great. Like you, you, I would rather be progressing in a way that was able, I was able to protect my best players than For sure. having them fouled, even if the odds are against them getting removed. Uh, so you'd 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 plug in here and get involved in the fight. I would have done. I would have done like the two turns ago, and I said it was like the big decision yeah, yeah. for Elliot. They, yeah. they they were the big the, the the two ways you could go were going up here, abandoning him, but yeah. securing the score almost certainly, or he mm -hmm. could have tried to reinforce over here, in which case it gets a bit more of a scrap. But it's still very likely to score, and he's very likely yeah. to win the fight and make more removals. So I would have I would have gone for pro probably like the lower odds of scoring, but again, not by much, right? So I would have no, been, I suppose I not. No, given more. the overall removals, he would have gone for the fight. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. Like I've I got eleven and he's got six. <laughs> you know, yeah, like, sure, yeah, yeah, in fact, yeah. he's got five. <laughs> so I would have, I would have, I would have opted for that, and you know, maybe leave him a hit on the ball or whatever. You know, like I mean, probably sure. not. But do you know what I mean? He, he could have rolled dice. Whereas now he hasn't even tried to go for the rolling dice to hit the ball, mm -hmm. but he is rolling the dice to try and kill your players. Yeah. And like at this stage, I'd be confident of winning the second half. Um, yes. You know, even if like this half miraculously ended nil nil. Mhm. Mm so, um, hello, Astro Tor. Hello, everybody. I said hello to. Sorry, with, with yeah, doing sorry, the guys. with doing the yeah. other things. Uh, with doing the other, you know, doing the uh, cup draw. I was trying to get through as fast as possible, and it's. Uh, I didn't really say hello to chat or anything, but. Um, you know, now we've got a bit more time, haven't we? This being live, so I can say mm. hello to everybody and interact with chat a little bit more. But yeah, it's really, it's really tough. I think the, the cup draw because you've really got to get through everything as fast as possible. Uh, you it do, just and takes we, ages. It does take a while, yeah. And we we had a nice little chat while we were doing so, mainly at the Elliot's expense, which was fantastic. <laughs> the um, Elliot challenge. <laughs> yeah, oh man, it, it drives him nuts, which is obviously why I kept on bringing it up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, well, See, look, this is Elliot walling it off. Yeah. The yeah. old, this was the K Fog thing, wasn't it? Because uh, then you couldn't. Okay, it's not totally walled off, but K Fog did it so that he couldn't. He couldn't get sacked against vampires because he just completely walled off his player. Right. Yeah. <laughs> there was literally no way for the vamps to get him. And and now, like, there is a chance, right? It's it's a six plus dodge and a six there plus is, dodge yeah. and an uphill double pals. So there's a way to there's a way to stop the score now and he's not going for it because obviously that, no. that's kind of stupid because it's solo odds. Yeah. Yeah. But there was a way to stop the score. Oh my god, man, you stop fucking relying on Dauntless. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and he puts the reroll. He gets him on reroll at least. I'm going to pile in here. No, oh, it gets yeah. the cars. Oh, wow. Badly hurt. Oh, how greedy is he feeling? Very greedy. You don't have all yeah. this, I don't think. It's that greedy, right? Wow. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. Elliot was not as greedy as I would have been. 
well, I mean, nobody's surprised there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you see, I would have exposed the hobos anyway. Yes. Yes, like I would have, course. I would have been exposing the hobos there. Yes. Or I would have, he wouldn't have been able, been able to blitz me because I would have gone this way yeah, and locked sure. him down. So I you mean, know, I would knows? have, I, w I would have been like, you know, I would have been happy to let it off because of the fact that I thought he was going to have to commit loads of guys and I would have got hits back, but he just went in with Dauntless again, <laughs> so I wasn't even able to get the punches back. Um, but this is nice to get right down this guy. No, this was not a greedy apple. I would have been greedy not apple-ing it. Yeah, greedy this not was, not apple-ing was yeah, greedy. Yeah, not apple is very greedy because like he's he's made he's made three cars, so you can assume that the other three guys come back, uh, yeah. and he's got a reserve, so he's two men down. Yeah. Um, the ones a goblin, so like you know he's still got chances to to come back. Um, the orcs. Oh, it's they not all come back. It's yeah. not over. He's got a goblin as well for the toss. Yeah. Yeah, and he, he had two chances, so there was a good chance of all three coming back. Like, obviously, there was, sure. a, there was a good chance of them not coming back as well, but there was a good, yep. there was a decent chance of all three coming back. So, you know, Elliot being Elliot, you know, was probably thinking, oh, it's not over, don't say it's yeah, over. Yeah, well, he, he would not have risked that at all. He would definitely not. And uh, even if he was in the winning position, I'd say he probably... Well, he is in a winning position, I'd say. He still wasn't willing to do that. Yeah, he was a comfortable in fact, position. He's probably going to take these guys off in a second as well and replace them, or at least he should. Oh, no, he won't take them off. He'll take off his claw palmers, yes. Yes, yeah, the claw palmers are the ones. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'd be taking my bulls off 100%, I think. <laughs> Sounds painful. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, fierce, uh, fierce contortionist I am. <laughs> I, don't, I, think the, I think the claw, well, maybe it's this claw palmer I'd have taken off, and then mm -hmm. the best bull. So, yeah, maybe yep. it's the best bull and the best... Because the bulls are better for stopping, like if there's a riot, isn't there? The bulls are better for stopping yeah, the yeah, in, in are, a riot. Yeah. So maybe maybe one bull and one claw pommer off, like because this claw pommer's a bit shit, isn't it? With Ajin AV down. Yeah, it, it's it's unfortunate, but I mean, what are you gonna do, right? Mm. It's not the end. Of, like, yeah, I mean, he's definitely keeping him, but out of the two, this one's a lot better. So, yeah. the, and then this bull is better. So yeah. Interesting. I feel like one square forward would be better here, for, for, at least for these three. Uh, for the for the throw, yeah. Yeah, these three I think should be one forward. Mm-hmm. But he's put them there. So they can't get blitzed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he's put them there. So they can't get blitzed. Mm-hmm. That's why. Mm. But I don't know. These three could then maybe be in front. Like one or two, but then they could get blitz as well. This, so it's funny, isn't it, to do such a competitive apple, yeah. and then to do like kind of an uncompetitive defense Ooh. for the one turn. Oh wow, that's uh, that worked out pretty well. That's great. Yeah, there's a tackle down, <clears throat> and the goblin's still up. Um, the problem is he can't clear <clears throat> the tackle zones. No, which is a pretty big deal. Yeah, so he's got to block him, and he's got to just hand off on a four plus. Yep. Yep. I mean, the four plus isn't that bad, right? Yeah, it's not the worst, but he used his app. He used his reroll to, to be fair, to cas a to cas a ball. Yeah. But um. Who knows? Doesn't pile it on. Match four does work. Imagine if he'd saved his reroll. Just saying. Yeah, I know, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my no. god. He's had so many chances to keep the yeah. <laughs> keep the touchdown chance alive. The fact he went back to the gobble. If we were, I mean, just as a quick joke, I made a, a slight reference when we were looking at the fact that that gobble was uh, sprinting sure feet, and I made it. I said that he wasn't. Uh, Taking it in the Rick Reckless uh, school of yeah. giving your Gabo catch. Yeah, yeah. Which is pretty funny. Yeah, catch would have worked better this catch time. Catch would have worked this, but this one time. Would have worked better. <laughs> but then you don't know. He might have rolled it one on the GFI, might you? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, <laughs> but he didn't get there. He also could have saved his reroll. But then if he hadn't saved his reroll, then Elliot would still mm -hmm. have a nap. Also, it's it's interesting, isn't it? It's... I mean, playing for keeps is pretty pretty rough here. Um, because <clears throat> whatever about the 
the state of play overall. I mean, he's 1-0 up and he's managed to get rid of a bunch of guys, but um, Jesus, you don't want to lose any of these remaining players, right? Yeah, exactly. And he's, he's hitting him with three mighty blows. With he is. Three mighty blow blocks and a palm blitz. So, you yeah. know, it's, uh, this can still end up badly for Elliot, um, yeah. even though he's almost certainly going to win still. I think that's fair, yeah. Ooh, you'll have to go a bit wider, mate. Oh, wow. Catch sure feet better than sure feet sprint. The thing is, sprint lets you score touchdowns that you wouldn't be able to score otherwise. Yes. It, 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 it strictly makes you better at moving. Yeah. So, like, I'm, I'm never... It's I, I tend to want to go sprint before sure feet. It depends. Yeah. Like, I, I, go sp I go sure feet first with, like, uh, snotlings. Mm -hmm. And I guess halflings I would as well, just because they're so slow. So, like... You know, getting from kind of movement five to kind of movement seven is kind of yeah. pretty cool for like normal play. But but that's also because they're they only have ability access and they already have side step. Yes, yeah, yeah. But like, but it's kind of a big deal going from kind of move five to kind of move seven. Whereas if I've got mm. like a, a gutter runner, I'm not going to go from movement nine to kind of movement eleven. That just seems pointless to me. You know? Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I just yeah, don't no, want to I, 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 of course, yeah. Yeah. And Whereas I don't, if you've got a movement ten guy, you definitely want him to be movement thirteen. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And like a goblin move six, and kind of being move eight is pretty decent, but it's it's just not that good. You know, mm -hmm. when it comes to the one turn, you just want to be able to bang it in. This is a very undefended ball here. It was crazy his defense. Yeah, it was absolutely crazy. He had absolutely zero. Like the blitz would have just ruined him. Like even now, it, like one, you yeah. know, like it was he's just not defending the ball hardly. Uh, one, two, three, four, well, the five, other ball six, can just seven, get him. Eight, nine. He can yeah. nearly get him. The other guy can is just in range, isn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He can, yeah. Defending one, two, the three, ball four, is five, super six, seven, eight, easy. nine. Yep, he's in range. Just so in he range. Can, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So he can nine. cancel the assist yeah. and he can two D. And then yeah. bam. Yeah. Yep. Correct. Yeah. So you can just instantly have have two balls on the ball and the ball carrier like in front yeah. of both of them. And the wallet shorts up the front. Yeah. If he wants. He might not go if for he it. Wants. He might just claw palm. It's fucking good to go for it, right? It's fucking good to just claw palm, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Well, it doesn't look like he's gonna go for it. He's gonna get the base yeah, well, in this at is least. The guy who would have been blitzing, so yeah. I don't exactly, know. yeah. I don't know what the plan is. No. Yeah, pretty strange. Unless he's going to double dodge through the weak diagonal. There isn't really a weak diagonal there, is there? Well, there is, I suppose. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's probably now just kicking himself, thinking, oh, God, I could yeah, have blitzed with him. I could have blitzed with that guy. Yeah, 100%. It's yeah. <laughs> probably what so he's saying right now. Give him some time so that nice he can ban call. somebody in chat who just mentioned it. Yeah, just call and, him. Uh, yeah, just call him. And then get that guy out of the way, so then you don't need to worry about where the fucking guy is. Because see, that's the thing. If you're just gonna claw palm, then just claw palm first. See what yeah. happens. Yeah. Ah! And I don't like just sticking this guy on. Like it doesn't do much. He just gets tackled. Palm. Well, now he gets the other guy on him, right? So he just sandwiches him. Yeah, he just gets tackled palm. Done. Yes. Yes. Which is obviously an issue. Which I don't really want. Best no. getting tackle no. pumped. Yeah. It's a bit wishy washy. Call me old fashioned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't really enjoy my best players getting tackle pumped. And he's not he's not basing all these guys up so that he can just fully like he can he can hit one away with the mm -hmm. goblin into a tackle hit so he can get but he can get one tackle pumped and one tackle knighted here. Is what should happen. Hmm. Will Will Albichon be good enough to to do it? You would think so. Here comes Dauntless. No, he wasn't. No. Like you just had to blitz the other one. And yeah. then you could have hit and then you've done the, exactly you the same thing and you yep. would have got both of them down exactly yeah it wasn't uh, 
it wasn't that complicated. Mm. I think we all shot a play, guys. <laughs> yes. I guess you can hit with a ball carrier with mighty blow and like. He's just going to dodge off him, though, right? No, you just hit him with mighty blow. Oh, he's not. He's not even hitting the extra hit there. Oh god. Maybe you're just mm -hmm. going to block with him, I guess. Oh, and then just randomly move around with a trial. Oh, yeah. I'm lost. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit. I'm a bit. I'm a bit taken aback as well. Okay, we'll see what happens. I guess he's definitely going to dodge now. Yeah, he's definitely got to dodge now. Is he going to do the three two? Is the question? Yeah, no, he just dodges that way around and goes over there. Okay. And you can close off back there. And uh, yeah, fair enough. Away from tackle. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's weird though. I think um, I think you're 100 percent right uh, that he should have either blitzed the ball or not brought the two guys around. Yeah. Um, was, yeah. Uh, I didn't like. I didn't like what he did. You, you either stand in front and call upon somebody, or you or you make a play for the ball. And to do. Yeah. Kind of both, I thought was a bit <laughs> weird. Yeah. No offense. No. <laughs> of course not. Are we just calling as we see it, right? And it's not. It's not that it's wrong. You know what I mean? I, I no, don't no. know that it's wrong, and I don't know that, yeah. that you know what's right and what's wrong. Who's to say if it's good or bad? Yeah. But I certainly thought it was weird. You know, and it could be things could be weird because they're the best player, couldn't they? Mm, mm. Oh, well, well, well claw, claw pumping things is usually good. Though. It's so good, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, no. Niggled as well. Yeah. Look at this. This is insane. Mm -hmm. Block guard, block. Mm -hmm. Block guard. Amazing. And he gets that guy back around as well. And he's still got a hit to go here if he wants it. Oh, dear, Ducky. That's. Uh... Sounds yeah, sorry to hear about that, Ducky. Terrible, but yeah, hope you're all right. almost almost exactly um, my story, man. I was also in um, in education and um, and had to take early retirement from um, from stress and depression as well. So my heart goes out to you, man. It's um, it's not easy. Every day's a struggle. Um, but you know, we're all here for you. Oh, there's a cast. Oh, and Twisted Candy, man. <laughs> you will to, not level new chaffs. <laughs> trying to fucking level these fucking guys. Fucking keep fucking chaffs. Fucking keep getting fucking cast. But at least it's, you know, at least it's the shit chaffs getting cast. So, you know, yeah, it's but good it's, for the game. It's, just, it's good for the game at the moment, it, just not yeah. good for them leveling in the future. Oh, man, he's so consistent. Like, his whole run's been like this with those last <laughs> two chores just keep on being shit. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, he gets to hit. Hit the cur palm. Yeah. Probably would have pushed him out the way so that you know your, your troll wasn't instantly claw palm, but never mind. Uh, yeah. I guess he's put wow. him in to pretend that he's not going to get instantly claw pumped, but yeah. <laughs> spoiler. Spoiler. <laughs> yeah. It would depend if he uh, if he decides to rely on. Um, can just go for the ball, like, but he's not going to. No, I think he should just continue uh, to just claw on things. It, it's not a terrible uh, kind of play style either, right? To like leave the ball open. Like, do you want to do you want to claw the troll or do you want to hit the ball? Because both that's his the, the dilemma. Yeah. Which is exactly what Eliad's now going through. He's like, oh, I just fucking, I just fucking hit the ball. I'll just hit the ball and, but I can claw on this guy and then everything's easier and I get rid of another mighty blow and I get rid of a strength five and. Yeah, I think he's gonna claw on. <laughs> yes, you just claw on, right? I might, you might three D claw on the gobble, because he can just block the uh, troll with this guy. Yeah. Hmm. He doesn't have to claw on the troll. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's going to. Uh, no, no, no. That doesn't mean that he isn't. Yeah, no, three down the three down the gobble. Boom. You can get a guard in here as well, so. Oh, no. Oh, 
Wow, it doesn't do anything to him. And this is a. Uh... Does he stand up the claw pommer for a one? Yeah. No, he doesn't. He <laughs> doesn't. I could put. He could put in the bow. Oh, Ooh. so he's probably not going to make the next one now. Oh, he is. Oh, he so does. Now he will stand up. And so now he will stand up and take the TD. Yeah. Because being able to isolate the troll is so massive as well, because you can shove him back here and follow. And yeah. the troll has no friends. You got no friends, mate. <laughs> got no fans. <laughs> you want <laughs> some? No I'll give it you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always the way, Astrotor. I mean, it's, it is always funny to me. Obviously, yes, being able to hit a stunty armor seven guy is good because the likelihood is, on average dice, you should be able to get, you know, some sort of removal. But the idea that like hitting skinks and goblins and you just immediately kill them is, you know, ridiculous. Yeah. Um, In the same way as it's ridiculous to think that you're going to cas a Norseman every time you punch him, oh, or that you're going to cas a Skaven every time you punch mm. them, you know. But mm -hmm. obviously, those games happen where every time a gut runner gets hit, it gets cas. You know, like uh, yes. like for Sol, wasn't it Sol in Sol oh, against? Uh, funny, Sol could have won that CCL. Like, yes, you know. But in his first round, he just got diced to shit. He literally got like his. His gut runners were hit four times and got like or five got times. Punched. I think they got hit yeah. five times, like has three and KO'd once or something. Yeah, I mean and he did then... let it. He did let two of them happen, but yes, but nevertheless, sure. it, they just did get fully removed. Yeah. Yeah, and then yeah. like, and then and then in the second round for uh, for Looks Luminous, like the, uh, he got he got everything hit and nothing died. Nothing died. <laughs> you know? Um. So that the it turns out that the claw palm did actually remove the goblin. Yes, uh, yeah, almost, just almost perfect. Yeah, <laughs> yep. and the troll passed this four plus, which was pretty huge. So we should mention that as well. Yep. And uh, Elliot hit the wrong player there with his claw pump. Uh, he did, didn't he? Yeah. Yes. I mean, well, that's being a bit mean. Yeah. Like obviously, it's a better player to remove, you know, move up, tackle. Like that is more relevant to winning the game, isn't he? Um, but you're obviously much more likely to to knock down the troll. Mm -hmm. um, and then you'd be freeing up all these players and stuff. So I think it was a better move to hit the troll, uh, personally. But and maybe he was going to did he hit, do this um, hit first, and then he didn't want to hit with a bull. So that, I guess that's what he's doing. No, yeah, I think he did this hit first. And that, guy, that guy got uh, that oh, guy, guy got pushed back up. and set up. Uh, so I guess then, so he couldn't have hit without an extra assist. So he, he yeah, he, was, to he, hit he this needed guy, the extra so. assist. So he, yep, yeah. Ooh. Oh wait, this guy doesn't have guard. This guy doesn't have guard, so he, he, he could just straight up hit this. Okay. Another nice removal. removal there. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I mean this is. Whoop. Oh, wow. He's tackle. Yeah, he is tackle. See, I would have just punched him. I would have been okay with just punching. Mm. But you know, Elliot is obviously really, really playing the ball here, and yeah, you know, really saying that it's not over, and no. really making sure he definitely wins. Mm -hmm. But like, you're still trying to win, playing the other way, aren't you? Like, it's not as if one way is right and one way is wrong. It's it's just interesting, For sure. isn't it? But you're both trying to win the game, whether you're trying to just punch that guy in two D. Or if you're dodging away to come back as a safety, you, you know both ways. You're trying to win the game. This is a bit safer, Ooh, but a bit less payoff overall. On the top arm here as well. A bit less payoff on average, but Ooh. a better. Uh, uh, well, well, is he? Well, is he? See, because now if he 2 would this guy and hadn't powered him, he could have <laughs> sure. he could have dodged away and he would have been over here, wouldn't he? And then maybe yeah. there would have been. The slightest chance for the Orcs to score. The Orc plays a veteran French tabletop coach. Oh, yeah. Is he? Cool. So we drew uh, Ireland drew Spain in the first round of the oh. uh, of the of the Euro Bowl, uh, right. which is quite. They're apparently very good. They're like you the top three likely to win the event. Wow. Which is, I mean, I'm really excited about it because, um, uh, I mean, 
so it's just a really it's kind of a win-win for us i think because nobody expects us to do very well and uh if we manage to draw it's a huge upset if we manage to win that's an amazing upset and uh if we lose you know it was expected uh so i'm really looking forward to it yeah, also good. the poor uh, poor guy who i have to play has to play me um the saturday morning of an event so i mean <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm, I don't look forward to I mean, I'm not even going to remember the game. <laughs> I'll be so hungover slash drunk. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Should nice. be fun. Um, thank you very much for the raid, Seabros. Absolutely glorious. Welcome, Seabros viewers. Hello, Marzen. Um... Then he doesn't know about Pylon. Very good, Gary. And yeah, mm -hmm. it's funny, isn't it? It's... I don't know, Ducky. It's... 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 <laughs> It's yes and no to looking how looking good playing from behind because some sometimes like if you know if you're ahead from the start like how does Elliot look good this game? Do you know what I mean? All he's done is claw pom things every turn. Do you know what I mean? Like it's been pretty brainless from him, hasn't he? Like do you know what I mean? He hasn't really done anything that like makes you think, oh wow, that was an amazing play. He just mm. claw pommed stuff and then had a guy back in case anything happens. You know the potato peelers back here, so mm -hmm. that nothing bad can happen. And it's like. You know, he's played well, and I do think he's played better than Albichon, but, like, you can do more creative plays, can't you, when you're down, like, you know, like, he could have made some kind of crazy handoff and run play and stuff, like, some people left on. Do you remember the one that PC left on, where his opponent could have handed... Kill Bill, wasn't it, could have handed off and ran away? So, like, mm. so, do you know what I mean? Like, in that situation, PC was kind of miles ahead, and all he could have do was really, leave, you know, maybe leave something on or maybe shut it down, and Kill Bill yeah. was was kind of behind, and all he could do was like maybe make a crazy play to, to do something. So it, it's interesting. I think often people can look better when they've got like the worst team or certainly the elf team. Like they they can try and think of some moves to do, and the bash team's just got to just got to stay ahead, hasn't it? Like I don't know. I think it's sometimes it's harder to look good just staying ahead, but. But yeah, obviously, like he's he had five, six players. There wasn't a lot he could do for most of the half. <laughs> oh man, this troll is on fucking fire, isn't he? Yeah. Next, miss next. Oh, not dead. man! Exclamation mark, Eck. Mm. Troll is the best player. Interesting here from El Yod. Anyway, like you know, he's uh, which one was it? it? Was the worst ball, wasn't it? That he saved, I think. I think it was the worst, but I don't think it was the guard one. Yeah, uh, do we say thanks to Seabro? Sorry. Uh, hi, Christian. How's it going? Father to be. Um, expecting the next two weeks. Really excited for you, buddy. I uh, hope your stream went well. Ah, glorious. Zons. Yeah. Too bad they will not win chalice. He's expecting the kid, so he didn't have time to put in a full run. So the lads were like, we'll just play Zons then. He's like, oh, yeah, cool. Yeah. <laughs> The problem is, Seabros, even if you even if you do really well and get a really nice Zon team, you'll just get PC with dwarves in the first round. <laughs> right. God. <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> the absolute literal worst possible matchup. It's pretty hilarious. My my, my Schadenfreude went off the scale. Yeah. But um but yeah, rough one man. Oh, it was the guard one, it so so that makes yeah, it, it mm, that makes it a harder choice. It's it's uh, you know that's another thing that I hate about Blood Bowl too is that you've got fifteen seconds and I don't know what it's like in Blood Bowl three like if it eats into your reserve time or whatever. Mm. But like that's terrible, isn't it? You've got fifteen seconds for a ga literal yeah, yeah. game deciding decision, and you've mm -hmm. got fifteen seconds to make it in a game that takes like an hour, and your opponent can take yep. three fucking minutes every fucking turn. In fact, not three minutes because they've got animations and yep. the fifteen second chunks. So your opponent can take like four and a half minutes every single turn, and then you've got fifteen seconds for a decision that decides the game. So the the guard, I would have still, I think I would have still been greedy at this point. Um, yeah, well, I mean, the other thing was that it was an MNG as well, right? So the chances are you weren't going to amp that anyway. No, it was, it was badly hurt. It was badly hurt. No, and the the the, the guard chorf that just. Oh yeah, no, but I mean the the badly hurting the the badly hurt one that yes. needs to dap or like if he's down a chor if he's down a bull sentinel here, like I know there's only six players, but yes. if he's down a bull, it means that he hasn't got the bull either bull in the face like he was able to put bull, bull, bulls in his face wasn't he he was yeah whereas if he's only got one he's just it has to stay back as a sweeper all the time and he is down a guard so you know he's he's got a lot of value out of this this one that he had yeah yeah but, I, think, um, I, I think it was, I think, but uh, I it, was it was a tough it's a super tough call because like you say the 15 seconds is so harsh to do it but yeah. um yeah but then you know pc was greedy in his game in the semi yeah. And um, and it worked out really well for him as well. 
Well, uh, worked out okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> like, because he had to use it on, like, a worse player, didn't he, the same half? He did, yes, he did. <laughs> on the, on the, the, the line of scrimmage on, on turn eight, yeah, he did. Mm. Got fouled. Um. Um, so, ooh, that's in your own way, mate, right? Is he holding for another turn? I don't know what he's doing. Just, he okay. is, yeah. Okay. Well, this is. Well, I mean, that's this craziness. Is, yeah, you just can't score now, <laughs> and and you've just lost. Yeah, you just like... lost. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting decision. Um. Yeah, I'm really kind of flabbergasted. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, this is turn 15, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep, an interesting, an interesting offense. That was weird, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm... He shouldn't like have even followed here, Elliot. Elliot shouldn't have followed. <clears throat> no, he did, yeah, because he's gonna, he's gonna blitz the ball and then go back. But why? He could have just not followed and blitzed yeah, him. Definitely doesn't can't score now. One dude. Yeah, but he couldn't score anyway. Like that's what I mean. He just couldn't score. He's literally not in range. Yeah. There's no need to fall. Okay. There's no need to surf him. There's okay. just no need to do anything other than just hit things and protect your players. Okay. I guess he's done it anyway. But like he doesn't have yeah. to. Yeah. Now, um, now it's now it's GG. Like he could have like he could have quad sculled and then maybe got chained and probably knocks in the yeah. sideline. Could have double won that and died. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like he could have done yeah, that, right? No, I he know, could I have know, done. I know. So I think, yeah, I yeah. feel like not following and then uh, trying to hit yeah. somebody with mighty blow is probably your best shot there. Stand firm, does he think? Oh, wow. A massive raid from Andy Devo. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. Hello, Andy Devo. Hello, Andy Devo viewers. Um, we did the cup draw and then this first round match, Eliod. Um, taking Albichon to the cleaners. Yeah, very rowdy. pretty much. Yeah, very rowdy game. Uh, a little costly in the loss of a uh, chorf for next game. Uh, one of his guard chorfs, uh, which is you know not great, but uh, but yeah, it was a bit of a rout and uh, not really um, not really much of a game overall. Uh, yes, with uh, Elliot being in control pretty much from turn two. Yes, non Elliot uh, people would have said it was over on turn one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, great to see you, Andy. Thanks so much for the raid. And uh, yeah, I hope the stream went well for you, buddy. Uh, still trying to work out where to put the fan favorite, I believe. Uh, don't take a vampire is... Uh, ooh, that's a lovely way to end the game. Or maybe do Not take dead. a vampire and then qualify for Chalice with a record of 19 wins, 6 draws and 22 losses. <laughs> <laughs> Which did happen. <laughs> uh, and I don't know, somebody in chat must have said it, or somebody said it in my ear. One of the producers mentioned that he was an admin, but I don't think, I think that's Scarless to have brought it up. <laughs> yeah. Um, don't know why anybody would do that. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, and congratulations, obviously, Andy, on your, um, on your win, man. Really excellent result. Uh, absolutely delighted for you. I'm sure the whole community joins me in saying congratulations to uh, the current champion. Uh, well deserved and uh, about time. Yep. Um, I don't uh, Astro Twelve well because it's it's uh, it's like gets copyright strike, so that's why I just have a EAB seeing it now. And uh, there was something that I was thinking there. What is it? Cavill. Oh yeah, Henry Cavill. Hopefully, Henry Cavill isn't making Witcher Three. Well, he's he's doing. Hopefully, he's not making Witcher, Witcher Four because he's going to be in like House of the Dragon or something. And obviously, he's doing Superman, isn't he? So that's good. Yeah, uh, but it's very sad that he's not going to be in Witcher anymore because that was great. Um, well, there you go. That was an easy match for Elliot, wasn't it? He literally, basically won it turn one. Like he just made instant removals. Uh, yeah, and it was. Ended it was the drive ridiculous. Yeah. And, I mean, he still played much better, and uh, yeah, he did. yeah. Well, congratulations to Albishan on having got into Chalice, but um, yeah, uh, uh, rough, rough running into a uh, seasoned vet like Elliot in the first round, but uh, yeah, he he, he really got uh, shown the quality of the Chalice. Oh, and he got the MVP on the ball carrier, so he gets block. Oh, oh that's amazing! Wow, wow. Yeah. disgusting. Massive. Yeah, fucking lucky dog. <laughs> like that, like that time he got exactly what he needed so that he could get tackled before his game against you. 
Yes. I mean, he just needed the touchdown, didn't he? To, yeah, he to did, get yeah. It, but, yeah. But he still got it. But well, <laughs> the important thing is that you let it go and you didn't bring it up every single time that you met him for the next, like, season. Exactly, yeah. yeah <laughs> that was the that was the best thing. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cavill is, yeah, he's, he was at the uh, spoilers for Black Adam. Um, the only good thing about Black Adam, the only, literal only good scene in Black Adam is the posts, post-credits scene where you mm -hmm. see Henry Cavill and then you're like, oh, good, good. 20 seconds, not even 20 seconds, like 10 it's seconds. Yeah. Five seconds of Henry Cavill is better than the hour and a half of the rest of the movie. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there you go. Um Right. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Congrats, Elliot. Commiserations. I'll be sure. And uh, thank you very much, Kalon. Absolutely glorious, as always. Yeah, pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. Thanks. And don't forget, leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.